Tiger Woods isn't just a golfing legend. He's also one of the highest earners in the history of sports. I mean, how many athletes do you know have earned over $120 million in prize money alone? Not many, I assume. But guess what? His earnings from playing golf is just a small fraction of his $1.1 billion net worth. Yeah, you heard me right. Woods is worth more than a billion dollars. But how in the world did he get so rich? And what exactly does he do with all his money? Keep watching this video to find out how Tiger Woods got so rich. Before we get into the specifics of how Woods blows his cash, let's take a look at how he became a billionaire in the first place. To do this, we have to take a long trip back to December 30th, 1975, which was the year Woods was born. His place of birth was Cypress, California, and it was here that the now iconic figure would develop his passion for the game. Now, Tiger wasn't your average kid, far from it. This little man had dreams that were larger than life, and thanks to his father's guidance, he began chasing those dreams the moment his pops introduced him to the game of golf. Of course, Tiger had to learn the basics of the game first. He began swinging on mini golf courses, but he was just so good at it that it didn't take long for his father to turn it up a notch. When Tiger was just two years old, his father, Earl Woods, took the future champion to a full-sized golf course where he continued to develop his talent. And boy, Tiger made an impression so good that everyone who watched him swing knew that he was destined for greatness. I mean, the kid could drive the ball farther than every other kid his age. And by the time he became a teenager, he was already a master of the sport. Yeah, all those years of practicing his swing and putt paid off quite early. No one was a match for Woods at junior competitions as he dominated every tournament he played in. Fast forward to 1996, and Woods had turned 20 years old. This was when the young man first burst into the professional golf scene, as he left an unforgettable mark in his very first PGA Tour. Woods certainly turned heads with his style of play. He brought flair into the sport and made it more interesting to watch, even for those who weren't fans of golf. Yeah, even rappers were making Tiger Woods references in their music videos. Do you remember the 1997 song, Mo Money Mo Problems, by Biggie, P. Diddy, and Mace? In the video, while Diddy was playing golf, he was addressed as Puffy Woods, which was a spin to Tiger's name. That's how popular Woods had become in just one short year since turning pro. So with all that talent, flair, and the ability to attract larger audiences, it was certain that Woods was going to make a lot of money. Now, I've already mentioned how his 120 million plus earnings is only a fraction of his wealth. So let's take a closer look at where the rest of his money came from and where better to start than with his mega endorsements. The mega endorsements. Now, Tiger Woods wasn't just chasing birdies on the golf course. He was also chasing lucrative endorsement deals that skyrocketed his wealth. Of course, an athlete of Woods' caliber would only sign deals worth big bucks. And trust me, it doesn't get bigger than Nike. The sportswear giant was Woods' biggest supporter for a whopping 27 years, contributing a staggering $500 million to his already impressive bankroll. Talk about walking in style. That aside, Woods also strolled the fairways with a Monster Energy-branded golf bag showcasing his enduring partnership with the energy drink company since 2016. Gatorade was another pit stop in Woods' endorsement journey, quenching his financial thirst with an estimated $100 million deal over several years. However, not all fairways were smooth. Woods faced a rough patch in 2010 when extramarital affairs surfaced, leading to the end of partnerships with AT&T and Accenture, among others. But hey, Woods wasn't going to let a few knocked off endorsements, stop his paper chase, which is why he decided to branch into business himself. And that's what we'll be talking about next, his mega business ventures. Of course, Tiger Woods didn't stop at sinking putts and signing endorsement deals. He also aimed for success off the course with an impressive array of business ventures. The Woods, his restaurant located in the opulent Jupiter Island, is a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit. But that's just the beginning of his diverse portfolio. His love for golf 
transcends the traditional course. Did you know that Woods owns TGR Design, a golf course design firm, and Full Swing, a golf simulator tool? Well, now you do. But it doesn't stop there as Woods also owns Popstroke, an indoor mini golf chain with nine locations across the U.S. Guess what? He has plans to open more sites in 2024 and 2025. What's more, in 2022, Woods, alongside fellow golf pro Rory McElroy, ventured into the tech world with TMRW Sports. This tech company focusing on sports, media, and entertainment attracted a star-studded lineup of investors, including Justin Bieber, DJ Khaled, and Macklemore. The company didn't stop at Pixels, though, as it also birthed TGL, an indoor golf league in partnership with the PGA Tour. Unfortunately, the league's debut faced a hiccup as its Palm Beach Gardens arena roof collapsed, postponing the inaugural season to 2025. Now, you wouldn't expect a pro athlete with billions of dollars to his name to ride around in cheap cars. Certainly not which is why Tiger has a car collection regular folks can only dream of. Let's take a look at some of Woods' favorite toys, the supercars. Over the years, Tiger Woods has amassed an enviable car collection that ranges from comfortable SUVs to high-performance supercars. One of those cars is none other than his Cadillac Escalade. This luxury machine on wheels stands out as one of the most iconic cars in Tiger's collection. Priced at around $75,000, the General Motors SUV gained notoriety in 2009 when Tiger crashed it into a fire hydrant outside his Florida home, amidst rumors of a scandalous affair. While its fate remains unknown, the Escalade is synonymous with luxury and is often used as a limo for Hollywood celebrities attending glamorous events. Moving on, and you can also find Tiger, cruising through the city in his Lamborghini Murcielago. Yep, Woods broke away from his usual preference for roomy 4044s by indulging in this 240,000 supercar. With a V12 engine capable of reaching 0 to 60 mempiche in just 3.5 seconds, this vehicle is a testament to Tiger's appreciation for speed and performance, even if it contradicts his usual comfort-driven choices. Now, Woods is such an iconic figure that you wouldn't be surprised to hear that the Buick Bengal was built with the legendary golfer in mind. Yep, in 2001, Woods inspired the design of the Buick Bengal. And even though this concept car never made it to the roads, Buick reportedly gifted one to Tiger, making him the center of their advertising campaigns. Despite boasting an underwhelming 3.4-liter V6 engine under the hood, the Bengal holds a special place in Tiger's collection. Well, that's because he's the only person in the world that owns one. Speaking of cars that hold special meaning to Woods, we can't make this video without talking about the 2021 Genesis GV80 SUV. In case you didn't know, Woods' luxury Genesis GV80 SUV found itself in the spotlight when the golfer was involved in a serious accident in February 2021. While behind the wheel of this crossover hybrid, Woods suffered severe leg injuries after his car rolled off the road. The incident resulted in surgery to address fractures in his right leg and a shattered ankle. Yeah, the car was pricey, but not just money-wise, because it almost cost Woods his life. Thankfully, he fared better in his Porsche Carrera GT. This collector's item, capable of reaching 100 millimeter in prime in just 6.8 seconds, has a market value of $500,000 to $1 million today. Unfortunately, this model gained tragic fame when Fast and Furious actor Paul Walker lost his life in a car accident involving a Carrera GT. On a lighter note, though, the Buick Velita marked another concept car for Woods. In the early 2000s, Tiger was seen with the luxury Velite, although just like the first one, this too never made it into production. Wood's next car, the Mercedes-Benz S65, certainly made it to production, but it also left a sour taste in the mouth of the iconic sportsman. 
In 2017, he faced legal trouble when he was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence in Jupiter Island, Florida. While behind the wheel of the S-65, valued at around $135,000, Woods experienced damage to the car before his arrest, including torn tires and bent alloy wheels. As for his Buick Enclave, well, this car was a testament to his long-term sponsorship deal with Buick, allowing him to choose from their lineup. The mid-size SUV, with a starting price of around $40,000, served as a comfortable choice for cruising around Florida. However, the sponsorship deal came to an end in 2008 as GM faced substantial cuts. Now, SUVs and saloon cars weren't all Woods had going on for him, vehicle-wise. He also had the luxury Ease Go golf cart, which allowed him to cruise around the green in style. I mean, this custom-made golf cart had spinner wheels, a stereo for music, and a top speed of 28 tree muffs. Quite fast, but not as fast as his Lexus LS460. Priced at around 75000 lire, this sedan reflects his preference for dependable vehicles, showcasing a commitment to both comfort and safety. As far as automobiles go, Tiger Woods' car collection is a diverse showcase of luxury, speed, and unique concept cars. From the unforgettable Escalade to the rare Porsche Carrera GT, each vehicle in his possession tells a story of his evolving tastes and experiences on and off the road. Speaking of taste, Woods is sure knows how to pick the right cribs. And with that being said, let's take a tour of some of his pricey mansions. When you're Tiger Woods, living in some of the most beautiful homes is a must. The man has turned his fortune into a real estate empire that would make other billionaire homeowners jealous. From private resorts to sprawling mansions, his real estate is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Just check out his Jupiter Island home. Now imagine waking up to the sound of crashing waves, stepping onto your balcony, and seeing the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean. That's just another day in the life of Tiger Woods at his 12-acre mansion in Jupiter Island, Florida. Bought for a cool $40 million in 2006, this wasn't just a house, it was a statement. Fast forward to 2010, and a $54 million mansion stood proudly on the property. Now this wasn't your average house, it's got a 3.5-acre golf course I mean, why not have your golf game just a few steps away? It also boasts of tennis and basketball courts for those days when golf feels too mainstream. But what about the 100-feet swimming pool and a 60-feet diving pool for the amphibious golfer in him? That too is awesome. But wait, there's more. A kid's gaming room, a spa, an oxygen tank for those high-altitude golf swings, a fully equipped gym, a garage that's probably bigger than most houses, and a guest house that's fancier than a five-star hotel. And as if that weren't enough, a boathouse with not one, but two private docks, because where else would you park your yacht? Yup, Tiger Woods has a yacht, and it's not your average boat, it's practically a floating mansion. The residence wing is no slouch either, boasting three bedroom suites and a master bedroom that's fit for golf royalty. Before Jupiter Island, Tiger Woods called Windermere Florida home. This was the place where he crafted his golf magic and unfortunately, where he famously crashed his car into a fire hydrant during the stormy days of his personal life. The Windermere Mansion, once the epicenter of Woods' world, has seven bedrooms, a movie theater, and a two-story patio for contemplating the perfect swing. However, post the car crash fiasco, Woods decided to part ways with this chapter of his life, selling it to fellow golfer Bubba Watson in 2013 for $2.2 million. Bubba, being the savvy real estate maestro he is, tried to flip the property, listing it for $5.6 million. Eventually, it changed hands again, selling for $4.2 million in 2016. The house may have new owners, but the echoes of Tiger's golfing glory undoubtedly linger within its walls. Now, no one would argue that Woods doesn't love his parents, and he showed just how much they meant to him by giving them luxury homes, too. 
In 2007, he showered his mother, Cotilda Woods, with the ultimate gift. Two plots of land in the prestigious Jupiter Island, Florida, totaling around $2.4 million. Not to be outdone, in 2010, a home in the Windermere, Florida neighborhood found itself under the joint ownership of Tiger Woods and his father, Earl Woods. Valued at around $1.3 million, it was a testament to the strong bond between father and son. But beyond the grandeur of his primary residences, Tiger Woods has dipped his toes into other real estate waters. Reports suggest that he once owned a $3 million condo in Newport Beach. Now picture this, a Mediterranean-style paradise spanning 2,000 square feet with a balcony and patio for those lazy afternoons. It was reportedly sold in 2012, adding another notch to Tiger's real estate belt. Now let's set sail to the mythical private island in Sweden. Rumors swirled that Tiger Woods had claimed his own piece of Scandinavian heaven, but alas, there's no public record to confirm this tale. Whether a missed stroke or a strategic play, the Swedish island remains an elusive chapter in the Tiger Woods real estate saga. In the world of Tiger Woods, golf greatness isn't confined to the greens. It extends to sprawling estates, oceanfront paradises, and the sweet taste of family homes. Each property, a stroke in the masterpiece that is Tiger's life, leaves us marveling at the golfer's prowess, both on and off the course. So the next time you're perfecting your swing, remember, Tiger Woods isn't just aiming for the pin, he's building a real estate empire, one luxurious home at a time. But of course, all this wealth doesn't just attract media attention, it attracts women too. And good old Tiger has certainly had his fair share, his women. No one would argue that Tiger Woods isn't a good looking guy, he sure is. And he's got a lot of money too. That being said, it comes as no surprise that he's been involved with a good number of pretty ladies over the years. Unfortunately, most of his relationships hit rock bottom. But hey, he wouldn't be the first guy, would he? It all began with his marriage to Elin Nordegren, a Swedish model, which hit a major roadblock in 2009 when Wood's infidelity came to light. The aftermath of this revelation led to a challenging divorce, but the duo managed to navigate co-parenting their two children, Sam Alexis and Charlie Axel. In his 2017 memoir, Tiger Woods, Unprecedented, The Masters and Me, Woods expressed profound regret for his actions, acknowledging that the consequences would linger. Despite the stormy past, he and Nordegren evolved into best friends, prioritizing their children above all else. As Woods put it, it's all about the kids for us. Following the tumultuous divorce, Woods stepped into a high-profile relationship with Olympic skier Lindsey Vonn from 2013 to 2015. Their romance may have ended, but the split was amicable. However, his subsequent relationship with Erica Herman, which spanned from 2017 to 2022, concluded on a less harmonious note. In 2023, Herman filed a lawsuit seeking release from a non-disclosure agreement she signed at the outset of their relationship, invoking a law that allows nullification of NDAs in cases of sexual assault. In response, Woods vehemently denied the allegations, characterizing Herman as a jilted ex-girlfriend with unfounded claims. The legal battle shed light on their private affairs, with numerous women coming forward with allegations against Woods. The storm of controversy began in 2009, when Rachel Uchatel, a New York City nightclub manager, became a central figure in Woods' infidelity saga. Initially denying the affair, Ucatel eventually confirmed it after other women shared similar stories. Woods admitted to transgressions, but only confessed to his infidelity in December 2009, leading to a hiatus in his career. The repercussions were severe, lost golf championships, shattered endorsement deals, and the end of his marriage to Nordegren. Uchitel's life took a turn as well. She opened a children's boutique in Manhattan, appeared on Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew, and went through a marriage and divorce with former Penn State football player Matt Hahn. 
The twists in Woods' romantic life continued when he was linked to wardrobe stylist Kristen Smith in 2016. The relationship remained under wraps, and when rumors circulated about their status during Woods' DUI arrest in 2017, he took to Twitter to set the record straight. Despite the challenges, Woods and Smith had parted ways the previous year. Tiger Woods' history with women is a saga, marked by triumphs and tribulations, public scrutiny, and personal growth. Through it all, though, he had no choice but to face the consequences of his actions. After Woods and Nordegren officially divorced after six years of marriage, reports indicated that the settlement reached staggering heights, rumored to be around $100 million. While specific details remained confidential, the substantial sum reflected not only the financial repercussions, but also the emotional toll of the highly publicized scandal. I have to mention that Woods's financial matters and settlements have not been limited to his romantic relationships. In 2017, he found himself entangled in a legal battle with his former business partner, who accused him of owing him a significant amount of money. Woods, in turn, countersued, and the legal wrangling ended with a confidential settlement. The exact terms and figures of this settlement remain undisclosed, adding an air of mystery to this chapter of Woods's financial history. Nonetheless, Woods's financial setbacks from his past relationships and legal disputes seem to be mere bumps in the road for a man who has triumphed over adversity time and again. So guys, which part of Tiger Woods' lifestyle intrigues you the most? Hit the comments below and let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video so your pals can watch it too. One more thing, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with more videos on fascinating individuals around the globe. Thanks for watching.